君もゲームのプレイヤーなんだねだったら私のライバルだフェイトレクイエムフェイトグランドオーダーコラボイベント盤上遊戯目視録開催Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. I didn't go and clean up the board here, but that's fine. We're all good. What I did do, though, is I did a little bit of playing with uh, Arise there, just putting her in the back for some grinding missions uh, just to get that done. Meaning that we now have this here, which is nice. Uh, her Noble Phantasm was selectable, but I didn't click it. Because I want you to see my reaction in real time. Anyways, I might as well do this. Biscuits made by Cat Wolf, where we'll battle, obviously, Tamamo Cat. Um, so we'll get uh, you, why not? And then uh, let's go, not my grinding team. Let's see here. Sure. Because then we'll get to, uh, get to maybe, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe if it's not story, we could use her noble phantasm. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, what I might do, though, no, we probably won't get it with her right away, so that's fine. I was going to say, should I bring in Waver? But, like, she won't get it in one turn, so it's fine. We'll just do it like this. I don't know what this bonus quest will actually entail. Maybe it'll be one where it's like, you can use Noble Phantasms, woof. In which case, well, eggs on my face, right? Let's see, what are we dealing with? Well, we're in the candy village. Fresh from the oven. Oh, biscuit golems. Okay. So in that case, um... Yeah, we'll just, I guess, fight. Well, let's start off by getting as much meter as possible. Get that debuff immune on. And you know what? I might... Yeah, let's do this to get you some extra stuff, because I want to see you... I want to see you doing some cool stuff. Yeah, let's get big, big, big gather rate up on you. Nice, nice, nice. So let's go. One, two, three. And get some meter. Okay, all right. Dang, you're really going for her, huh? Actually, come to think of it, uh, yeah, no, her Noble Phantasm is not locked here, which is good. Uh, let's just hold off on using her here, so let's go... One, two, three... Okay, that'll get you... Alright. Wow, you are solely targeting her, huh? Oh, I see. So he's gonna keep gonna keep on summoning. Okay, so I'm gonna heal you. I'm going to give you some meter. So I want to see it. So let's go. Uh, one, two, three. That should give you enough. So long as you don't die. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Don't hit her. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Just pop this. Pop this. And, uh, okay. So let's go. Amino Sakahoko. Let's see this. This is the first time for me seeing this. Okay, that definitely has stuff to do with the Divine Spirit that I know very little about, honestly. Okay, well, it, it, that's, that's okay. I don't love that. I don't love that Noble Phantasm. But it's... It's inoffense. It, it's not bad. It's not bad. I just kind of wish it was more, you know? Um, let's see here. So let's just focus on killing you. Okay, 
Okay, I was, if we got a crit, that could have done some good damn ads. Ah, it's fine. Okay, but now she's gonna make another one, right? Well, the good news is we have our Noble Phantasm that hits everyone, so yeah. She always makes another. That's fine. So we'll go... Uh, one, two, three. That'll work. All right. Very nice. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm, I'm content with what Aris brings as a servant. I just do wish it was more Aris and less whatever her divine spirit thing is. I wish she had more morphing weapons, but eh, it's, it's a way to make it so that it makes sense that she's summonable, right? You can't just say, oh yeah, by the way. Yeah, now that I think about it, they couldn't just make her be a servant there. What's this do? Increase two star gathery by 100% and increase 100... Ooh, that's not bad at all. Everyone loves me and I love them back, even if some thorns uh, pain me at times, I still love them all. I'm a queen after all. May the sky dazzle, may the land be graced, may you be full of happiness. Vive la France. That's a good one. That's a... I like that one. Give that one to someone who's all crit-based, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. And I think that is... I think that's... Yeah, we got all those. How, actually, or do we have... Oh yeah, we have every token! Dang. Cool. Alright, I didn't even realize that. Well, let us move on to the final game, the Battle of Shinjuku. So, um, let's just go defaults here to see if there's any other servants there are. Um, let's go with you. Again, check out all the different, you know, see this one a bit more. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I was going to say we should have that on for sure so we can get her bonded up. Okay, let's go. I, good music in this event. It's it, like it's it's quaint, it's quiet, it's the opposite, but it's like it's very atmospheric and it works. Establishes the tone well. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Thanks, Quayo. You can tell what she's saying. More or less, there's a trick to it. Quayo's nothing like me. She's a real grown up. She's always calm and collected and super considerate. Right, Voyager? Definitely. You didn't have to agree that quickly. Brr. Oh, did she just smile? Yep, not that hard, right? Right. I see. So this is how you'd always support one another in Akihabara. At least, I think so. You poor thing. You must really want to go home, huh? I used to think so. That was the only thing on my mind ever since I came to this world. But now, I'm not so sure. Now I'm wondering what this world really is and why I'm here at all. That evil spirit declared she was going to sully me, and she did so while pretending to be Queen Marie. But in my Akihabara, the evil spirits were like my neighbors. They were extremely dangerous, sure, but I had to use them in order to protect myself. What type of neighbors do you have? Maybe this is their way of taking revenge on me, because they're mad at how I've been treating them? Especially now that I'm no longer human, but an autom autonomous... Summoned Wraith, a servant. It's okay. You're just, you're just fused up, right? It just makes sense. It's fine. Why am you, Aris? And this time I'm going to sully the entire world of Mandaju itself. It didn't look to me like she was trying to kill you on a lark. As far as I can tell, this evil spirit still needs you, and since you were its original host... Well, while well, I'm glad my name has been cleared, the idea of someone with my face running around getting up to no good still doesn't sit right with me. Besides, she's the one who arranged this trap and the one who got all the Kaldian servants mixed up in this mess. So we have to stop her once and for all so she can never get up to no good again. And one more thing, when this is all over, Reese, it'd be lovely if you came back to Kaldia with us. Assuming that's what you and Master want, too, of course. Uh, I couldn't. 
consider another place to call home. Come and go as you please. It's a wonderful idea, but in order to do that, we first need to free her from the Mon Dijou. By the way, there's one thing that's been nagging at me. Does anyone know where this tram is headed? I mean, there were five mystery games in total, and I thought we had cleared them all, so... Maybe there's another hidden secret one? Good point, Senpai. That's probably what it is. But there's still a larger problem. Who planned all this in the first place and why? Was it all just Dark Marie? And if she was behind all this, even if this massive, complicated, yet still somewhat convenial trap was her goal right from the beginning, maybe her revolution re-overwrote the rules. Right, our actions changed the game and the different rules led to different developments. So the plan couldn't have gone perfectly from the start. Which I guess means we have no way to predict where this tram will ultimately end up. It's okay, Reese. Don't worry. You're not alone anymore. Voyager? Hey, where are you guys right now? Uh, define where. We're kind of in the Sea of Stars. We're currently on a tram that's transporting us between tiny worlds, though we still don't know where it's taking us. Well, we have an emergency request for help here, and we're going to need you guys to fulfill it. A request for help? That thing's got windows on it, right? Take a look outside. Yeah, that's the world. Now what am I looking at? I don't, I don't see anything. Over there, Senpai, take a closer look. There's something coming up from beneath the Sea of Stars. Oh! It's a giant game board. Uh, what happened to the games we've been playing? Look, Senpai, they're still all there. It looks like all five games we were playing before were part of this huge... Were... Whoa. Whoa. It looks like a large city more than anything. I remember this place. I know this world. Maurice, this is Shinjuku. It's the city where I was born. And it must be fate you're here, Reese, because the people who live there need you to rescue them. So are we, like, in the real Shinjuku now, or is it a Mondeju version? Rescue them, me? Some kind of darkness is eroding this city. Darkness? That's a little vague, no? Maybe, but it's the only way I can describe it. Someone summoned a kind of light-rejecting substance that looks a lot like mud that's swallowing up the whole city. Oh, I think I know who it was. It was Dark Maria. I'm sorry, who's Dark Marie? Sorry, Marie. One of the evil spirits that haunts me. She took Marie Antoinette's form to manifest outside my body. If she's doing something that could harm all the other heroic spirits here, then... But well, we can't stand by and let it happen. Huh? What are you talking about? You're not planning to come with me, are you? <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. Tanner, you really are incorrigible, aren't you? Ho oh, ho, looks like there was a big change when I wasn't looking. I'm curious to know what happened, but I think that can wait for another time. Okay, Reese, it's time you go face your past. So you can take back your present. Ooh, I like that. So I was like, I was a little bit like, eh, it's kind of not really related to, you know... I was like, oh man, it's not really like related to Requiem that much, but now that it's like kind of kind of mixing together, I am much preferring it. Look at that little dude. I remember this place. This is where my grandmother and I used to live. Oh, this is cool. So this was regarded as like I I took it as like when they said like the countryside. I didn't imagine it was like this. How could I have forgotten it? Why couldn't I remember it? And why is this place my past? Also, Chitose reference. Make her playable. Make her... Put her... Honestly, her with Longinus together as like a... Like like a pseudo-servant there or a demi-servant or however you want to do it. Bruh. Or Frick, go all the way. Give her the divine spirit of Jesus. Only being exposed in this world now. I'm guessing this is the goal. What do you mean? That can't be. On second thought, maybe I should listen to you. I mean, you've seen lots of strange worlds by now. Yup. So I think I can trust your experience and intuition. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Okay, Tanner, tell me what you think. Well, this all came from inside your heart, Arise. 
You mean Arisa's heart is responsible for creating Mon de Jou? This mysterious board game must mean something, and I think I know what. The board game means something? I'm not sure what you... I mean, why did it invite us inside to begin with? Uh, Voyager, you were Arisa's servant back in the real Shinjuku, right? Uh-huh, Arisa and I formed a contract. I said let me ask you something, followed by... Are you my master? I remember that. So, what are you saying? You think that has some connection to this evil spirit uprising? You've gotten some command spells as part of your contract, right? Yes, I did. They were branded on my left hand at the same time we formed the contract. But they've been gone ever since I changed into this form. And what also showed up at that time? Uh, no way. You're saying this whole world... This entire game is actually my command spells? That the marks of our contract the Holy Grail gave me came back in this ridiculous new form after I lost them? You've been this game's biggest puzzle of all along, Arise. <sighs> I'd forgotten all about this place from my past. These are the memories I'd shut away deep down in my heart. So, are you saying this place we've arrived at now that we've solved the mystery of Mont de Joux, is actually my own hope come to life? I'm a little taken aback by this too, but I can understand where Senpai is coming from. In the Akihabara and Shinjuku from your world, everyone has their own personal Holy Grail, right? And the command spells that show up on a master's hand basically act as a terminal connecting back to that Holy Grail. Wow, you know this. You mashes into this. Like, she she knows the, how their world works. So since Holy Grails grant people's wishes... This world may have appeared as a reflection of your own unconscious desires. In which case, the miracles the command spells usually perform through servants may have manifested more directly into the form of the city we're in now. That's... Uh, I hate to admit it, but you might be right. This place is a secret from my past I thought I'd sealed away. A reminder of the hurt I tried not to think about. Which means I was probably trying to destroy this world for the same reason as Louise's master. I just wanted to destroy... I wanted to hurt myself because it was the only proof I was alive. Uh, you just wanted to know. Yeah, that's right. I'm an ignorant child. What could I possibly want to know now? Well, the best way to live your life. I... Okay, that might be true, but still. That doesn't give me the right to ruin everything else like this. Hell, I don't even have the right to go on living since I couldn't even atone for my own sins. Hey, you kind of atoned for them already. Huh? I mean, you were just seeking a trial that you would face yourself. It's like Persona 4! She's like, Frick, it's like Persona 4. So that's why this battle took the form of a board game. See, and, and, and our character's like, finally, we have someone from the future so I can talk about references, and they're like, oh yeah, I get that, I get that. But the battle took the form of a board game. The Holy Grail didn't do this to punish you, it did it to challenge you. So you're saying all of Montague is a trial, a challenge? That I secretly wanted to atone for my sins? That I wanted to keep on living even though I'm a stupid embarrassment? What's wrong, Arise? Please don't look so forlorn. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you about Louis. Now, now, none of that. You've done nothing to apologize for. The Charles you met was already a heroic spirit. Life and death no longer matter to him. But that doesn't change the fact that I killed him. Only because you had no choice, you did it to protect yourself, not because you truly wanted to. If you hadn't, there's every possibility that Charles would have killed you instead. If anyone was keeping you on edge back here in Shinjuku and Akihabara, I think it might have been you. If your evil spirits took form in this world, then I'm just as much to blame for it as anyone. Don't be silly, Your Majesty. I knew you would have never wanted things to turn out like... Oh. See? Sometimes things turn out a certain way, no matter how much we may wish otherwise. It's all part of the ties servants like us in very inevitably form. As long as humanity's hope and potential can be shown in places that have transcended good and evil, then we'll always be able to prove our worth and value no matter how sullied we may have become. That's what it means to be a heroic spirit, to materialize as a servant in this world. Isn't that right? I don't know. I still can't say for sure. But if that's true, then... I want to believe that someone like me becoming a servant... Don't be considered an insult to all the heroic spirits. I want you to do something for me. 
Hold your head high and live your life with pride. Your Majesty, I, I want to believe I can, I do. But the fact is, I'm cursed. I mean, you saw my terrible power for yourself. Yes, I did. I could tell it was a very powerful magical energy. It's the power of death itself. Honestly, it still frightens me. It's what caused this whole disaster in the first... Brrr. But Koyo... Even I could tell what she was saying there. You were warning us to be careful, weren't you? Brrr. I'm picking up some magical energy signals. Senpai, I think these might be... I don't like this. I've never seen those things before. Uh, uh, did those come from Dark Marie herself? Enemies straight ahead of the tram. Fortunately, we should be able to fight our way past them. Get ready, Sen uh, Master. Here they come now. Are we are we doing like a running battle? Are we doing like the 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 battle from from Final Fantasy VI, running beside the train, fighting with them? I guess we're not running from the tram though. We're running in front of it. Okay. What do we got? Are they gonna be a new enemy type, or are these just ghosts? What are they? <laughs> oh, little goblinos, little little guys, just the little little fellers. Okay, so, um, oh, there's a lot of them. So let's get a bunch of stars here, so we can do some good stuff. All right, and we got thirty-eight of them. Jiami and Hungry Ogres. One, two, three. Alright. Nice. Good. Okay. And more of these boyos. Let's get some stars. Okay. And let's go... You know, let's get more, and then we can guarantee we kill some of these guys. So let's actually go one, two, three. Nice. Nice. Good. God, he's just Kirby. Like, it, it, it's funny, because I, it, you know, every time I've seen art of, like, this is what Kirby would look like as a human, it's usually pink hair. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like, no. I think if I were to make, like, some form of this is Kirby as a human, I think it would just look like this guy right here, right? I mean, it makes sense. His name is Hoshi no Kabi, right? Kirby of the stars. Yeah, that makes sense for why he would look like that. All right, let's finish this up. Let's go one, two, three. Just in case we got to move on there. Okay. Get some of that. Yeah, it's getting a lot more than our just the grinding I was doing there. Which is nice, which is good. It was just, um, because it's still half AP just grinding in the, the simulator, so I went there. The battle is over. All the, um, imps have been destroyed. But this is still only a taste of things to come, Senpai. So we've got evil creatures bubbling up from the darkness. Right, at worst. We could lose the entire Mont which is inextricably linked to Arise. Exactly. So, we go... We beat everything up, we get through. Simple as. Let's do it. Hello? Oh, because it had to load a whole new board, huh? This is kind of cool looking, though. Because, like, what were the, the places we battled became, like, rooftop gardens. And that's a, that's a sick idea. I really like that. This is Shinjuku, huh? And that's the edge of the water there. God, it's a cool representation. Shinjuku in the game world. Yeah, wow, this is... This is a crazy detailed map, honestly. That's cool. That's cool, I like it. Alright. 
We got some, uh, some, uh, some of you. So let's, uh, sure. Sure, why not? And you know what? Let's put you in the back just because I don't want to have to, uh, just don't want to have to deal you with that. Okay. And let's go. You guys should go back to Caldia. Huh? Where did that come from? You still have that special space probe piece Voyager gave you, right? All you have to do is give it back to him. That should announce your intentions to quit the game and let you leave this- Oh, it's like putting your hand on your deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. It'd be the smart way to beat this game, am I wrong? I'm gonna go ahead alone. Really, when you get right down to it, this whole thing is my problem to solve anyway. Now, go on, hand your piece over and- yeah, no, we, uh, we didn't come just as far to just give up. Huh? Why not? How can you be so blasé about... Because that's just who Senpai is, Aris. Plus, I'm technically the master of Kaldi and all. Stop it. Quit teasing me. This is my mess to clean up. You guys have much bigger things to worry about, right? So go back and take care of them all. No, don't worry. We're in event space where nothing wrong ever happens. Plus, there's still... I need my servants back, too. That's right, there are, aren't there. And there's no guarantee they'll come back if you forfeit your player status. Or that they'll ever be able to escape from their tokens. Uh, not to mention you, Ares. Right. But, but then, if I'm a servant, then who summoned me? I don't know, but I hope it was me. But I said stop it, what are you, stupid? Like, what, what right would someone like me... Have to be in Caldia, among all those amazing heroic spirits, I mean me. It's impossible, there's no way I'd ever fit in there. Even in a million years, I could never... Uh, no, I get it, but I can't leave you on your own. Ares? <laughs> if the Montaju is destroyed, it would almost certainly affect your existence too. Koyo. You're the one who guided us this far, aren't you, Voyager? You brought us together so that we could help Erase find her way again. Not exactly. Uh-oh? I just showed you the way. What happens next is up to Tanner and Erase. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm afraid more evil creatures are headed our way. Ready to begin the exorcisms whenever you're ready, Senpai. Let's do this thing. Let's beat up some more generic enemies. What do we got? I'm just trying to think. Saber? Are they going to be the big Oni-looking samurai dudes? That's my thought. That's the one that jumps to mind immediately. Let's see. What do we got? We got... Hey, I was right. It's the Yomi troops. Cool. So, uh, we got six of them, huh? All right. Alright, we're like the death, sure hit, crit up. Yep. These guys actually are quite bulkier, but uh, shouldn't be a problem too much if we just do some of this. Wow, that sounded like you broke something. Okay, they're not super strong, at least. We'll pop a heal here. Okay, so let's go... Some of this. God, what a perfect servant type. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got her, because, like, man... Just fighting with a big dumb T-Rex is hyper Kino. Nice crit. Alright, last set here. I don't think you have anything that gives you meter, right? You just got increased little phantasm strength and attack. Might as well pop that for yourself. Grab that gather rate up and drop rate up. And this gives you increase your max HP. Why not? 
Yeah, that's a good amount. Get you some more. Right. So let's go. Uh, yeah. Actually, then let's let's pop this on you because then we can get more crit ups, right? Yeah. Still hundos. And might as well pop this on you. Oh, whoops. Well, that's fine. Oh, well, no, this is good. So we can go one, two, three. No, this is good. Okay. Can you hit Tomoe? Because, uh... I wanted me to... Well, actually, wait. I think we can give her... Yeah. Is your single or multi again? Yours is single and inflict burn. Okay, you're burn type. So we'll kill you and then do this. All right. Just the yeet. I do really appreciate how it's one big number. I don't have to do quick maths to figure out how much damage she's doing. Nice. I like how his, his scarf is fluttering right in her face. We've defeated all the enemies in sight. However, yeah, no, we're just getting started. I saw how many ticks there are in this node. All right, Master, we need to find out where they're originating. You mean the other me? Yes, we do, or else this whole town will be swallowed up in darkness. Let's go find our other friends. Friends. Right. After all, we're... Right, Senpai. None of us here is alone. We have so many good friends here with us. We have so many friends. Formation restricted? Okay. Wonder what we're dealing with here. Damn, there's tons of these guys parading around in broad daylight. Kabuki chose a heartbeat away from ha form, having to be completely quarantined. We better do something now before the darkness does irreparable damage. Exorcist Squad, move out! I like, I like these three as a trio. This is the Exorcist Squad moving to the designated area now. Standing by for further instructions. We shall take no prisoners today. Exercise all evil spirits on sight. That aside, I wonder what caused these vile imps to erupt from the underworld in such great numbers. Hey guys, did you find which summoning gate they're coming from yet? I'm working on it as we speak, but I'm afraid my poor back picked a hell of a time to start acting up. Now that things have come to this, I'm afraid you'll just have to make do. If sacrifices must be made, then so be it. Oh, it's you again. How does you always seem to show up before I even realize you're here? And why, pray tell, are you looking at me like that? Because it's going to blow you up. Both of you shut up. You're ruining the scenery. As tacticians, it's incumbent upon us to know when and where we need to be at all times. My, my, you certainly are staring at that map, map intently, Lady Rhinus. What an elegant portrait you paint. Consider the only strategy you know is everyone dies. Yes, my strategies tend to be a bit more elegant. So I just realized... Chen Gong, Sima Yi, and Zhu Liang are like the three tacticians of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? I mean, Chen Gong was with Lu Bu and not, like, there, there's another tactician there who's, I don't know, but like, wow, we got all three of them. Somehow before, like, Guan Yu, right? Before, like, Sun Si, before Chao Chao, right? Before Liu Bei. That's wild that we got the tacticians before them, huh? Yeah, everybody dies. Indeed, these sorts of grand events don't come along every day. Best to enjoy them when we can. Well, so much for those guys being any help. I know delegating can be hard, but they're just being bakas. Zero stars would not do business with them again. Indeed, I think it'd be best if we handled the intel gathering ourselves. All right, let's see if we can't put together some solid meta. Shall I whip up a quick wiki? <laughs> She's gonna whip up a wiki! Uh, hang on, I'm getting called. Yes, who is it? It's Master Curie Light. I'm here with Master Tanner. Oh my god, Machan. I have an important report to make regarding the source of these evil creatures. 
You mean the Chaldean servants are all working together? Did you order them to, Tanner? When would I have had the time? They all have their own very specific lives. And they're doing it of the, all of their own volition? That's amazing. Well, part of it does have to do with the fact that they all got caught up in this new game to begin with, so... Eh, it's not like these side story events or anything new for us. They just go along with whatever happens. Oh man, all these cultural differences are seriously throwing me for a loop. Maybe I really can't fit in. You can do it, Erise. I know you can. Voyager. Here are more evil creatures headed this way. Thanks for the heads up, Koyo. Tanner, can I join Caldeo's response team too? Yeah, just fine by me. I don't know if this will count as facing myself, but I'll make it work one way or another. I'm sure the evil spirits inside me aren't going to be too happy about this. But nothing and nobody is getting sullied here on my watch. Is it going to be she has to be in the front? Is that what we're getting at? Oh, no. Oh, it's... Okay, well, at least at least we can use this. Right? Okay, so she's going all on her own, huh? Well. Fine by me! Just pretty much a trial battle for, hey, have you not used her yet? Here you go. Give it a go. Hey, well, oh, it's literally, hey, have you used her noble phantasm yet? Give it a go. Get some of these on. Let's see her. One, two, three. I wonder how good she is for grinding. For, like, using death there. Probably not, because she can't give herself meter, unlike, um, Nita Chris. So, since you're basically expected to use it, this is them saying, like, all right, use it, check it out, right? So let's just go like this. Because we can't kill them all, so. Check out some of her attacks, right? Check out some combos here. So let's go, let's see red, green, green. What do we get with that? So we get stab. She gets Freshitz. Okay, that's using the, the claw sort of sword. Okay. I love the fact that she just gets a ton there. Let's go green. No, we did green, green. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go blue, blue, red. So it's the flip a dip. The kick. Okay, that's a new one. All right. And the last one. Let's do this. Just stick to all blue. So we can loop it if we need. Probably won't need to, though. So let's see. We don't have the death chance up. So let's see what it's like. Let me check what her um, her kind of thing is in the analysis. Let's see here. Uh, Itsumi Aris. No, I clicked Castoria by accident. Don't look at her just yet. We'll get to her later. So, uh, I'm taking a look at her. So, let's see here. So, Evil Spirit Medium uh, can go up to 6. So, the Arts goes up to 30% at level 10 and the cooldown goes up to 6. Der Freischütz is 600% uh, gather rate at max, and cooldown is 4. That's pretty good for sure hit to get to 4. Reaper, so death percent is 50% natural, 100% increase on... Um, yeah, it's 100% increase on level 10. Crit damage is up to 30% from 20. Special attack is 30% from 20, and the cooldown is 6. Okay. Um, so let's see here. What's what's the analysis say for her? It says, I'll kill evil servants. Welfare first, uh, 
the Fate Requiem event is an AoE Arts Lancer with good damage and good noble phantasm game. She arrives when Arts Lancers are fairly rare, meaning she was likely to provide a tool masters do not already have. Unfortunately, she's not a great farming servant, but she has nice tools for hard fights. As well, Feral Servant, her Noble Phantasm is automatically Noble Phantasm 5. Yep, we'll get to that, provided her event is cleared. Uh, that plus the Arts buff from Evil Spirit Medium and the Anti-Servant Damage from Reaper give her a strong Noble Phantasm damage, especially when compared to Noble Phantasm 1 Servants. As an AoE Arts Servant with good base Noble Phantasm gain, she has good Noble Phantasm recursion when properly supported. Furthermore, Reaper provides a good critical damage buff, and all of Eris's damage buffs apply to normal attacks, meaning she has a better normal attack than most uh, many single Buster Card Servants. Wow. Um... All of the above apply primarily to hard fights, and farming Aris is a lot weaker, largely in part because the insta-kill on her Noble Phantasm activates before damage and makes her Noble Phantasm refund unreliable. Oh, I see, that's why. Aris also has little uh, useful utility, meaning in hard fights she is dependent on supports to deal with gimmicks. Furthermore, Aris can deal decent damage with crits, uh, well she can, she has no good way of generating C stars. Aris is a straightforward servant. She most relies on uh, mostly just deals damage and is good at doing fights. Is pretty good at doing just that. Especially for masters without strong AoE arts options, Aris can be a good pick for difficult fights. Strengths: good noble phantasm damage, good noble phantasm recursion, and strong normal attacks. Weakness: instant kill, noble phantasm uh, refund issues, limited hard fight utility, and limited C star generation. So it says that her best one is evil spirit medium, uh, because then that gets her more gain there. The two hit. Evade effect is also nice, last three turns is unlikely to be wasted, even if she uses it offensively. Nice, yeah, okay. Okay, I see. Cool. I enjoyed understanding her character. Did I just read the entire Game Press analysis page verbatim so that it went into my mind? Yes. Yes, I did. That's how I work, baby. All right, uh, so let's see here. 300, that'd be nice to have, man. It'd be real nice. In fact, you know what? Yeah, let's let's just get the damage ones, and let's see if anyone has some strong damage up. So let's just go with uh, max limit only. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not a great... It's not great for what we're dealing with here. Any other class would probably do better. 300% on you? Don't mind if I do, though. So we got you two. Uh, you know, we will bring you up because you are naturally stronger at this point. 200%. Um, actually, you know what? No, let's go, with, let's go with this, right? And then you can be in the back there. And actually, wait, what we can do is just, yeah, this. So that if we need you, that we can bring you up. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Let's do this. And you know what? For the heck of it, we've used you as T-Rex for a bit. Let's get you switched back over to... Your halfers form. Why not? Let's go form three. We'll read their um, their profiles after we're done the event for sure, because it is something that I want to um, like unlock the details for. Okay, so let's go. Ares's noble phantasm has been released. It's even more powerful than I expected. Wait, is it because you and her share a magical energy connection now, Master? No, I'm pretty sure this is all her. Then, is it because Arisa's no longer doubting herself? If so, that bodes extremely well for the upcoming battles. Do you really think so? I mean, this power of mine is the same darkness threatening Shinjuku right now. If it turns out these evil creatures are actually coming from inside me, then... Are you still having trouble coming to terms with it? I'm not sure myself, but... As terrible as my power might be... It can still be useful. That's good enough for me. Come on, Tanner. Let's get going. I want you to help me drive this evil out of my foolish self. You really are strong, aren't you? Never mind that now. She's so embarrassed. Just sip in my... Delicious coffee. Big boys. A lot of big boys. Wow. We got a good number of them. So, I'm definitely going to deal with you first. Although, actually, it's not the best because we don't have that much with you. So, let's go. Uh, let's go with this. Let's start by giving some good stuff. 
It is interesting. It's like she's not good at gaining sea stars, but do you know who is? Eh, eh, right? This all works out. Let's go one, two, three on you. Some good crits, that's for sure. Okay. Oof. That's what I was not wanting. Can you not, sir? Can you don't? Uh, let's give a quick heal. Again, like how, like a healing berserker is such a weird concept. I appreciate it though. Let's deal with you then. Okay. Wow. Okay. Roars of laughter, crit down, big groan. God, that debuff immune is really nice. It's real good. And how is it? And is it? It's just for a set number of turns. Which is wild. You don't get that often, right? Like, normally it's it's not like, oh yeah, you just get, you know, it, it's like, oh yeah, you get like three or four of them. It's like, no, all, all stopped. Voyager got his. Nice. So, might as well pop that. But first we'll go... I'm gonna go... One, two, three. To get a little bit more meter. Get some stars. Right? Because if I'm gonna kill them all, might as well get the bonuses first. At least I think I'll kill them all. If I don't, that'd be embarrassing, but we'll see. No, we did. And Arise has hers now. All right, Arise, time to finish this. And let's go. One, two, three. All right. We got one death. Nice. Bond up with you. Very good. I mean, we already got your uh, thing. Ooh, look at all these variety of items. I love it. We already got the bond up with Neza, so we could probably switch it out for, um... Gilcaster to get his next. <sighs> do you think I did a good job? I do. I'm relieved, Ares. Oh, good. But I couldn't have done this without you guiding me, Voyager. Thank you. Still, this isn't over yet, is it? Nope. Then we'd all better keep moving. Yeah. This is Charles Babbage with the transport team. We've successfully taken control of the local tube and are ready to supply other teams with talismans and exorcism spells. This is Henry Jekyll with the research team. We've just completed production on our first round of anti-evil spirit items. I'd like you to double check the inventory list to, uh, to be, uh, woo, yourself to be sure, but I can tell we've got 3,000 handmade talismans and 1,000 amulets. We're also working as fast as we can to deploy enough golems to bring everything where it's needed. At this rate, we should be able to cover everyone in all of Shinjuku. Unfortunately, there are so many kinds of evil spirits that our individual analyses um, are having trouble keeping pace. And that's not even getting into the root cause making them all in the first. Uh, no, not now. We need brains to win this battle, not brawn. And we better hurry the analysis, development, and production along. Any work we can, any chance we can work in parallel. Hey, don't you think I'd be more help on the front line than back here behind the scenes? Yeah, you're not really a, you're a caster, but I feel like you're a fight caster. 
Yes, I do, but I'm afraid we're too short on Eastern Heroic Spirit Exorcism Experts to spare you. Okay, fine. There's nothing special about it. You just gotta give them a good smack. And if that doesn't work, use a golden headband to give their noggin a good squeeze. Well then, do you think you could hurry up with developing the headbands? Oh, right. Sorry, uh, the boot will take care of it. Just keep working. Right now, that's all we can do. We also need to get a way to... We also need a way to get these exorcism gear to where it's needed. Unfortunately, my golems are a bit inflexible in that regard, but... Oh, hey, perfect. Wow, this is... This is an, this is an all the warriors moment. This is kind of sick, actually. I appreciate this. Why is Billy Naruto running? Why is he with the ninja? Like, everyone else makes sense, but why Billy? Hey, hey, Hippogriff Home Delivery at your service. I'll get that talisman where it needs to go. Thank you, or thank you. No problemo. Uh, hurry up, Stolfo. This isn't a game. God, don't you think I know that, Bradamante? You don't have to rush me. Remember how at the start of this part I was like, man, isn't it so sad that there's only two of the paladins of Charlemagne? Mm. Eee! Don't be scared. We're just going to put this sticker on you. Ah! Huh. I guess she was telling the truth. What was her deal anyway? You know, this seal kind of looks kind of creepy. There's something written on it with a brush. Don't take it off. If I hand them out like this, I think I can put them on lots of people at once. Fly, little talismans, fly. Stop scattering our precious talismans, Yu Yu. We need all of them. Here goes. Are you sticking them to people with arrows? Yeah. Give it up. Don't move. You know, I still have a hard time believing these talisman things can really drive these creatures off. This is Bartholomew Roberts with the Nautical Team. I guess there is an ocean nearby. We've just finished sailing off the Mosaic Sea and all the rest of Shinjuku's waterways. So far, still no luck finding any leads on Dark Queen Marie, the source of this black mist. We'll continue to coordinate between ships to monitor the situation. I repeat, we still have no leads on the whereabouts of Dark Queen Marie. If only she had something covering her face, then I could see her. We'll continue to coordinate between ships to monitor the situation. Oh, now where in the world could she be hiding? She can't possibly have slipped past everyone. After all, if she looks just like Queen Marie, then she's got to be just as beautiful. Maybe even more so, since she must be styling her bangs the way I was all the rage back in the royal court. I knew it! I knew I was going to bring it up! I knew I was going to bring it up! There she is. I guess it's kind of covering. Hold it! How rude. Didn't your parents ever teach you how to speak to strangers? You're the culprit, the gate bringing all these monsters in, aren't you? Cut it out right this instant! Silence, commoner. Go back to the gutters where you came from. Uh, Ruby, help! Okay, but I really don't think we're qualified to handle someone like this. Debuff immune. Very nice. <laughs> don't turn into a big stupid monster. This is Ilya. I found her. Wait, what are you... Help! Somebody help me! Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we gonna have to? Are we gonna have to fight Testament Ilya? Because that'd actually be kind of a neat thing to bring in again. Because it was kind of one and done. Casters, huh? Do I not have any casters that have attack up? Really? Oh no, I have to use these guys. That's why. Okay, I'll go with you, and uh, then we'll go and switch. Uh, we'll bring in. You actually, we'll just put you in the back, All right? And we'll get you switched off for um. Where's Caskill? There he is. 
Yeah, because we need because he surely has an interlude, right? He must. He must at this point, I feel. I mean, there's nothing that says he gets upgrades, but he's let's just see your profile. Oh no, guess not. For well, for now at least. Maybe. He will in the future, I bet. They just announced a bunch of new interludes. I'm like, oh cool, new interludes. And I look, I'm like, I only have one of them. So that's not good. Okay. I do wonder how long this is going to be to finish up. Am I like, should I, should I power through? Or should I just let it go? Oh, it's a single dude. Okay. Um, let's go with... You know what? Let's start with some big attacks on you. Right? Get that on you. Because then you should have a big C-Star gather rate, which you kind of do. Get you powered up. I mean, 20% isn't great, but it's better than what we had. Come on, crit. Okay. Love those crit misses. Oh, I uh, wanted a crit miss. Get you healed. Okay. And we do have a full combo with you. Uh, sure. So let's do that. Do some of that there. Okay. Oof. Oof. Horf that damage. Okay. Um, I mean, we do have a full combo here. Let's do this here. Real good meter gain. Nice. Dawdle. Oh. Oh, cool. He did it, then he sealed himself. And also, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um. That's enough for you. Might as well pop that. This uh, this gives you evade, right? Yep. Oh, cool. Defense down, right? Never mind. Well, you got your evade. Let's go. One, two, three. That dot do be pale and blue. Calamity. Cool. Rip. Ripperoni. Just kidding. T Rex time. Okay. Um. Let me do a full combo here. Might as well. All right. <laughs> Three times. All right. Let's go. Let's get gather rate up on you. Right? Yeah, that's what I want. Let's get some big, big berserker busters. Love how none of them got it, though. I never noticed that she has a little hair thing up there. I've never noticed that. Huh. Nice. Cute. Okay. Berserker. Nah, that's an Avenger. That's I, I was thinking of uh, Kijo there. Are you okay, Ilya? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Where'd the other me go? That way. Huh? 
Don't worry, Kodio. Uh, we'll find her. Right, Voyager? Uh-huh, she wants us to follow her. Brrr. What's wrong, Koyo? Why do you look so sad? Come on, we need to find her before anyone else does. This is Underworld Countermeasures HQ. We have located the summoning gate, Dark Marie. Response team, ops members, move in and wrap this up ASAP. They're really working like a team. I repeat, we have located the summoning gate, Dark Marie. I really appreciate them working together like this. Ares and Dark Marie are facing off. Took you long enough. I've still got time. In fact, I had so much time to think that I realized a few things. Including who you are really, Queen. Other Marie. I could have told you that, Ares. In fact, I already did. Now, do you know what I mean when I said I was you? Yes, you are me. I see that clearly now. Take a good look at me. Take a look at this cursed form dripping with dark blood. Take a look at these horrific evil spirits whose hunger will never be satisfied. They feed on hopes and dreams of the future, and if they can't have that, they'll settle for my soul. That's why they're drawn to me, because I'm an easy target. At least that's what I thought. I didn't know who I was. I never tried to find out. All I knew was that I was the only person in the world born without a holy grail and with no bonded servant. Looking back now, I don't know how I could have ever believed I was just an ordinary human girl. I guess that's just what I wanted to believe, and even more than that, I didn't want to know the truth. I wanted to think that the evil spirits just showed up out of nowhere, that they came to haunt me, possess me, and consume me. Because as long as I could convince myself on that, I could remain a pure, ordinary, flesh and blood human. Maybe I could have even gone on convincing myself I was just like everyone else. But now that you're here, Marie, I can't ignore the truth any longer. It's true, you are me. Or rather, you're something that came from me. There's no way you could have known about me and Louis otherwise. You knew everything because you lived through everything I did. You knew my foolishness and my weaknesses even better than I did. Yes, Marie, you're me. And you're an evil, impure spirit that came from me. All these evil spirits are me. They've been bubbling up from deep inside my flesh, my blood, my bones, and my guts this entire time. They didn't just show up out of nowhere. They were born from me, created by me. I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to accept it. But now that I've met and look up to you, Marie, I finally realize the truth. You're me, and I'm you. We're not people. We're just things. Incomparably loathsome things. Ugh, it's about time you figured it out. Now, come into my arms. Let me embrace you. Let me console you. You'll feel so much better once I've laid you to rest for good. No dream will ever disturb you, and you'll never again have to awaken all alone in the middle of the night. You can forget everything. All you have to do is let me consume you until we are one and the same. Now, come, Arise, Come to me. No. No, I'm staying right here, and I'm going to change who I am. What? Don't be ridiculous. There's nowhere else you could possibly go where you could. That's not true. There's still Caldia. Maurice. Burp. Caldia, is that some kind of joke? I'm serious. So you don't care if they treat you just like another tool? If even tools have wills of their own, doesn't that make them just as alive as anything else? Burp. You cheeky little brat. One more outburst now that you strung up for treason. Weren't you the one espousing a servant revolution? Or is that entire speech just a ploy to lure me in? Silence! Didn't something like this happen at the werewolf house, too? Do you remember something, senpai? Yeah, the night when the werewolf went after Dayon. Now that you mention it, something did seem off about it. Each of Marie's loyal knights said something that called everything to question before they passed. That they'd found themselves lost without their custom roles as knights to fall back on. Yeah, why? There has to be a reason the werewolf went after Gilles. Come to think of it, Emia said something about that too. As I recall, he said that the werewolf would go after Dayon for the same reason he went after Gilles. What if that means that Dayon was struggling with the same problem Gilles was? Huh, if anything, I think they were already over it. Dayana knew they had no choice but to commit to their role in the game. Right, and that decision led to the werewolf hunting them down. I thought Amadeus was the one who said Gilles and Dayan up, but thinking about it now... 
They weren't set up. They were cut loose. So that's why the werewolf went after them? And, and, and Sanson? Is that what happened to Amadeus too? So if someone cut them loose then... Traitors deserve death. Insolent peons who don't know their place deserve penance. It's only natural, don't you think? Then the real werewolf is... Me, yes. I'm the real werewolf. I knew it. But so what? Sovereignty is far more powerful than any silly Wu rules. No game can give you an excuse to ignore the authority of royalty. Both Jil and Daeon overstep their bounds and they abandon their nightly duties. Amadeus at least assessed the situation correctly and remained loyal. That's why he had the good sense to choose death. But a peon giving his life for his queen is merely doing what is expected of him. It's hardly praiseworthy. I'm royalty, after all. Listening to you makes me think that only someone truly inhuman could stand to be royalty. Of course, to be royalty is to be equal to a god no ordinary human could possibly measure up. Well, I don't agree at all. Then go back to the throne of heroes, oh so gracious Marie, or Kaldi if you don't like that. But you, Maurice, you belong to me. You are me, after all. No, I refuse. I've decided to live my life on my own terms. Dao Ko, it's a big old ghosty again. I wasn't asking. If you think you can get away from me, you're sorely mistaken. I'm not going anywhere. This city is my home, my battlefield. Voyager, lend me your strength. I need you now more than ever. Of course, Iris. I'll always be here for you. We can't sit this one out either, Senpai. No, we can't. This is it. The final battle. All right. When you say this is it, the final battle, I don't think you mean what you say, but... Well, I know what we need. Hey, that's what I want. And in fact, uh, let's switch you out for... Uh, you... And you... And... Honestly, I'm gonna meme on you so hard. I'm gonna... Cause, can you be... Yeah, you can be put in the back. Okay. Well... Time to, yo, Avengers BTFO, you guys get owned so epically by the triple BB team. Oh my god, they just announced Hugh Neutron for Nick All-Star Brawl. That's kind of amazing. That's kind of amazing. All right. Look at the. Oh, wait. Whoa, frick. Wait. Oh my god. I hate. I hate how close their sprites are, honestly. It's so tough to tell whomst be whomst. So I'm going to shuffle. I want to see if I can get a good hand. Is this a triple here? No. Okay, I got a bad hand. Wow, that shuffle did nothing. That shuffle literally did nothing. That shuffle gave me, I think, the exact same thing. Okay, let me try this again. I just want to get, like, one good triple combo so that I can use the moon and then just abuse the... abuse the, the stuff over and over for crits to win. Like, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, no! She's gone! Please. Good. Right, that's the strat: is get a get a get a perfect hand of three really good cards, make it so that they're we're getting a ton of C stars each turn, make it so that we have buffed up crits, and then we win. It's as simple as that. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, these three are the same. That's her, which is not the best, actually. So, you know, let's shuffle, though. That should give us a good chance at another hand. Hey, we got triple support on you. Perfect. This is what I want. So, let's go lock. Let's go lock. Okay, there we go. Let's go gain up. All right, to get that there. And let's start with one... Two, three, and then we'll get a bunch of stars. Dunk! 
I love the fact that BB is a baller. It's so good. Let's melt together. Debuff resist defense. Double. That's fine. So yeah, let's. So let's see how many stars are we gonna get here. Thirty-eight. Dang. All right. This is just gonna be it, huh? One, two, three. This is ridiculous. It's honestly a massacre right now. Oh, Sea Star's down though. She figured it out. She figured out the strat. Dang. Dang, we were so good. We were so close. If only we could still probably do enough damage to win. No, it's not happening. It sounds like she's almost saying Bon Gohan, which I'm pretty sure is breakfast. Okay, well, we didn't get the perfect ultimate mega combo of righteousness, but we can still do good stuff here. Crit up, gather up. No effect, stun. Get that on you. Alright, one, two, three. Did I? Oh, dang, that's not the right one. It's so tough to tell. It's fine, we still got it. That was, incre that was incredibly easy. Okay. That was... That was literally just rocking on through, huh? Ah, how unbearably hideous. This isn't me. This isn't me. Normally it's, you say that before you fight your shadow, but okay. We did it. Dark Marie is fatally wounded. Her pseudo spirit form is collapsing quickly. Now's our chance to finish her off. Uh, Master? What is it, Master? You look pale. Arisa's spirit origin data just came pouring into my mind, or I know who Arisa really is now. Wait, what? Who do we? Now I see. Your magical energy connection must have grown even stronger now that she's unleashed your true potential. So, okay. That's just out of nowhere. So what? It's just another role you have to play. There are still chains tying you down. The destiny the Holy Grail gave you. All these rules of this grand game coiling around you like so many snakes. Never forget, Arisa. You're me and I'm you. Remember how the early, like, interlude quests were just Persona? Yeah, that's what we're doing here. I know that. But I still get to choose how I live my life. Right, Tanner? Mash? Yep, doesn't matter what duty you've been assigned. Right, Aris. I believe we can all choose our own futures, I really do. Yeah, we can, can't we? But then, I don't think I've found this way of living on my own. You're the one who guided me to it, Voyager. I did. Here, I think this is yours. Cool. Can you permanently join my team? This is Underworld Countermeasures HQ. We can confirm that the summoning gate has disappeared. We are declaring the operation a success and are disbanding a team, our team effective immediately. We have all fought bravely and we thank you for that. I repeat, the operation is a success and we are disbanding our team effective immediately. You all fought bravely. Thank you. It's wild how, like, they went immediately into, like, teams and worked it all out. Like, they worked hard. They knew what they were doing. I really appreciate that. So is that it? Is that just the... Yeah, that just it, huh? Wow. Okay. Epilogue. Traveler of the Starry Seas. The Girl of the Reed Bed. Yeah, tell me who she is, because I don't know who she is at all. Look at all these little points that we're not even touching. Oh, it's just gone. Okay, bye. Oh, whoa, oh, everything's gone. The stars are fading from view as each game is back in its respective box. All the servants have been temporarily tokenized to fit inside the boxes as well. Our Mon Dijou adventure will soon be over. Part of me is going to miss it. Um, Senpai, there's still one thing I'm concerned about. How do we get, how do we get back home? Oh, <laughs> good question. We are currently floating through space. Do, do you think we can? We've lost contact with Da Vinci again, so, huh? It's like a Da Vinci token. 
Senpai, look, these are Edison and Emya's tokens. What are they doing all the way out here? Ah, uh, maybe they're worried and came to check up on us. I do hope you'll tell me about what happened once we get back to Caldia. Oh, right, we're still trying to figure out the getting back part, aren't we? Don't worry, we've got Voyager here. Hi, Nursery. You're here too, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll make sure you get home. All right, of course Voyager can get us back home safely. Is everybody ready? I think so. I've got Edison, Emya, and Nursery's tokens all safely tucked away. Okay, then. Here we go. I see. So we all hold hands with Voyager in the middle. Here, Koyo, I'll hold your talons. Brrr. You too, Aris. Let me have your hand. Yeah. Oh my, you poor thing, you're trembling. I guess you're still second-guessing yourself, huh? Queen Marie. Well, I can't say I blame you. You're about to be reborn, after all. That's a scary thing to hear, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of other times in the future when you lose your way. But don't forget, if nothing else, the master your current materialization is about to forge a bond with, he'll definitely let you live the kind of life you want to lead, one you can be proud of. A bond. Um, to be perfectly honest, Tanner... That part still doesn't feel even real now, standing here, looking right at you, but... I think I can finally believe it now that I'm seeing the bonds you have with Queen Marie and Mash. You didn't believe me before? Ouch. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. You're so different from the stereotypical mage that, well, yeah, I'll have to probably apologize to you later. <sighs> uh, Koyo? That sounded serious. What did she say? She wished me luck on my new journey and said that... Death is also the first step on the path to new life. Thank you, Koyo. You're right, that's exactly what this was. A rite of passage for death and rebirth. Death is the start of a new life, huh? That sounds especially poignant for servants like us. You might well end up seeing the end of the world someday, but afterwards something new might come from that. Something new after the world ends? That is what they said! At the end of Volume 1 is, they said that they want to end the world. I hope you get to see the end of the world. <laughs> We're really saying that? I once promised Voyager I'd bring something to an end. Looks like it's back to square one on that. I won't forget, Aris. It's okay if you do, Voyager. Better to travel lightly, after all. Senpai, look, the starlight is getting even dimmer now. Let's go home to Kalia. Yeah, there's no point in staying here. Okay, get ready for liftoff. We're going to the place Aris chose to be. Watch this be canon, and the reason there's no Requiem Volume 3 is they just said, yeah, she went to Caldia, and that's it. We're back. It's so good to be home again. Caldia. So this is the place I chose. Um, tug tug. Oh yeah, I didn't give this back yet, did I? There you go. No, not that. Oh? Oh? Oh, was that a holy grail? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. What the? The game piece just turned into a holy grail. This is what brought Aris and me together. Now that the game is over, it went back to its original form. I want you to have it. Yeah, no, thank you. But uh, wait, wait, but this, isn't that hers? It's okay. After all, Aris. You mean I already had my wish granted? I always did admire servants more than anything, and I guess deep down I always wanted the honor of being one. But I also felt really ashamed for wanting such an honor when I knew I didn't deserve it. I think that explains why I subconsciously chose a game like that for my trial. Maybe that other Queen Marie even showed up as a bad guy because it's what I secretly wanted. Because I thought she'd be the right person to punish me. That's exactly why you had to stand up to her yourself. You're right, Your Majesty. Although, um, I still feel really bad that I ended up putting you in that position. Don't be, Aris. You did overcome her, and I, for one, could be happier for you. Your Majesty, and now that you've had your wish granted, I'm so glad you're going to stay with us as a servant. To be honest, I'm still a little unsure if I really belong here. I'm just going to hold on to this, okay? I'm just going to tuck that away. Yeah, of course, by all means. You um, are my master, after all. Thank goodness. See, I've been looking for a bright, shiny star, just for Aris. And you turned out to be the best star I could have hoped for. Right back at you, buddy. That's a Kirby reference. I'll never forget you, Voyager. But now I have to go. This was like a bit big swing by. I think I was meant to be big. 
Um, then it's time to get back to my journey. Voyager, thank you. Voyager, wait, can't you stay just a little longer? It's okay, Aris. You have a new job here, just like I do. Come on, Koyo. Grr. Not you too, Koyo. Uh-huh, we're going together. I'm sure you knew that. Well, yeah, but still... Kaldi has a whole other world, and this isn't even the time period we're from. Not to mention Koyo's originally from that much more distant past. I figured you guys would at least go back to the throne, regardless of what happened in Akihabara. But this isn't... I thought you weren't going to cry anymore. Who, oh, me? Of course not. Good. Voyager, Koyo. So, do they not join us, I guess? Huh. Goodbye. Bon voyage. See you later. At least, I hope we can see each other again. Maybe. Well, just maybe. I mean, yeah, if we summon them. So that darling boy and beautiful woman are gone now, huh? Huh? The whole place fell into complete silence, but now it's so lively again all of a sudden. It looks like all the servants were released from their tokens. Hey, they're all back. Well, um, maybe this is a good time to properly introduce myself? Well, we called you, Reese. We're glad to have you. Yeah, can you tell me about, like, which... Oh, we're not... We're, I guess we'll just have to learn from the, uh... From your profile what random god you have mixed in with you. It's just wild how they don't address that, right? Maybe she'll actually, maybe she'll introduce herself when we get her here. Let's see. Let's see here. Utsumi Aris. Okay, tell me. Utsumi Aris. I was like, Shinigami is called. Okay. That's right. You have to kill the bad servants. I guess not. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see here. Great Requiem, Japan, Mosaic City, Akihabara, Shinjuku. Why is it in quotation marks, I wonder? Oh, because they're wards, I guess. Lawful Bounce, female. Her fashion, sense, and food preferences are inspired by her teacher. Yep. That's intriguing. Huh. Huh. Mm. Orbat Clash Replay Edition. Portions will change in the replay. You can challenge from the beginning. No rewards are available. That's fine. That's fine. Boy, you're still going? Alright, right, so uh, next time we have some extra bonus quests. Um, yeah, we can get through there, and then probably the challenge quest. But, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Why would I do that? That just sounds like insanity. Uh, yeah, there's the super bonus quest. Super bonus quests. Are those called super bonus quests? Super bonus quests. Interesting. All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time for some more when we will do that, though. But for now, uh, that will be the end of this. So we'll see you then. Uh, until next time, guys, for the finale, the true finale of uh, the Fate Requiem event, we will see you then. Ciao.